Um, still morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> and I thought it was already afternoon. Um, I'm uh, Yomi Salawa, I'm a real consultant at the Castle Hill Hospital. And I think. Uh, no, you don't need to do Sorry? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't going to use a PowerPoint before because uh, it, it, try, it, it can restrict me. I try to go a few more things. I mean, the, the key thing is if you need me to talk about rehabilitation, I will need more than seven minutes. I will certainly ignore your yellow card. I will only get me uh, only using the red card. But we need to follow the plan. So this is okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Sally has uh, said um, I should mention about the strengths because I don't want to talk about future. So I should talk about the strengths. What do we have? What's the strength? We've got a good neurosurgical services, new, very good oncology services combined together, managing these patients, and basically giving good first line care. We have the McMillan team, CNS team. Inpatient rehab? Yes, we have inpatient rehab facilities. A 15 bed board for a big city. Difficult. And I just said, it's glaringly obvious. And I use that as an example. They gave me a consent form for the video, and one of the items there said um, something about how you identify you on the form. And I first said, you know, wearing blue jacket, um, purple stripe. Then I went, actually, hold on. I said, the only African on the team. But <laughs> 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 that's simple and straightforward. <laughs> Nativity player was at the Nativity player two years ago and my daughter was on stage. Small school. And the guy next to me was like, oh, which one is your daughter? And I looked at him and I wasn't sure just there. So I looked at my daughter's friend, they'll call their friend, blue eyed blonde. I said, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that to me is how obvious we have to be. We shouldn't even be talking about it. It's glaringly obvious. So why are we not doing it? That's what we should be asking ourselves. Somebody goes in for surgery to have the brain open, almost like a 15 round session with Mike Tyson. What do you think will happen after that session? So for me, if we don't take anything away from here, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of prehabilitation. What does that mean? You optimize the person before they actually get to that point. So they have the surgery, they are in the best position for their oncology management, and after, you continue with the rear. I was really encouraged by your presentation, because you've done the rehab yourself. You said something, you said, I was physically fit, I was doing all this before, in that people who are physically fit are a better chance. So that's what the prehab is all about. You need to get people optimized. Most of what we are doing is we're chasing after. It's a lot more difficult. And when we say time is more, in stroke care now, they talk, they can give you, they're so good in terms of how they've patterned out stroke care, they can tell you for every minute you delay for thrombolysis, how many neurons are going. It's the same thing, it's not the, and that's what leads us to how do we develop, or what do we do? What are we gonna do in terms of the services? The numbers are not large, so we know that. There's no point saying, oh, we're going to have an inpatient rehab unit for CNS and brain tumor, inpatient rehab unit for head injury, inpatient. Your story, like I said, you can remove the diagnosis and put head injury there. Similar situation. What commonality, what skill mix? In the best world, we're not going to have all the best resources. Everybody can say problems. You don't have enough staff. We'll never get enough staff. Even if they give you the funds to recruit, I'm not going to lie. I know because I had to be, well, I was pushed from across the bridge over onto the north bank. And they're still not able to replace me on the south bank, despite multiple. So we have to think in a different way. We have to make <coughs> use of the best skill meets we've got. We've got a lot of passionate, enthusiastic staff and people who want to do great things. On the neurosurgical world, I can mention that the therapists there do fantastic. Yeah. By the time they get to us, it's a lot quite easy. You can easily know within a week or two, this person is going to improve, this person is not going to improve because of the work they've done earlier on. And all these have to be joined together. We do have a Sally Mitchell broad base, <laughs> so I can show, but it's just future.
method. We can pass it around. It's aspirational, sorry. The way we look at it, different levels, different things. It's not only just specific, okay, fine, it's nice to talk, we're talking about brain and CNS tumor but there are loads of commonality across a lot of all these things. Even in terms of John working, well, 29 is our inpatient unit at Castle Hill. We've got Catherine who comes out in oncology, but we also have a neuropsychologist who looks after neuro patients. The two of them combine it in such good way to even cover across many of these patients that that's the skill mix, that's the joined up working, the way I look at it. And I know I sent an email to the neurosurgeons um, earlier on this week and I said, I've got this project, we need to do it, this, 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 and that. And they were quite enthusiastic because what we're trying to do, what's the unique model we want to offer patients with brain and CNS tumor? What's the unique <coughs> model we're offering to them? There's loads of evidence all over there. What we need to do is collect it together and say, this is what the pathway will be for this, 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 and this. And then we'll be able to, I'll be coming to you for some time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way all this for me is the evidence is out there. We know it works. So there's no point waiting around and we just go high head, pull it together and get it. Like I said, I don't want to continue talking if I keep I won't stop about rehab. The um take home method, definition of rehab. We have loads and loads of different definitions, but the best one I always say to people is one by Jennings. She's a neuropsychologist and wrote a lot of paper. But in constant, what she just says is that rehabilitation seeks okay, the power to live meaningfully and living well. It's not just about biological life, it's not just saving somebody's life, it's putting the quality to that life to make it worthwhile. That's my take. Thank you.